Mount Etna once again demonstrated the immense power of nature hidden beneath the island of Sicily. Just hours after a 6.7 magnitude earthquake struck the region, Etna's southeastern flank suddenly collapsed, sending Europe's largest and most active volcano into an eruptive phase scientists called the most alarming in a decade. Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology noted that the breach in the crater wall triggered a massive release of pressure, allowing magma that had been building up for months to erupt unhindered. In a matter of minutes, the dark sky was lit up by a torrent of ash and lava. The eruption column rose several kilometers high resembling a giant tower illuminated by a fiery red light, tearing through the night clouds that remained after the recent seismic storm. Scientists operating the Etna observation post describe the sensation as a mixture of fear and utter uncertainty. One researcher, who declined to be named, reported feeling strong tremors from the crater just before the eruption. The volcano seemed to growl. We knew something big was going to happen, but we didn't expect it so soon. This eruption is recorded as the 14th phase in just a few months, a number that indicates how quickly Etna has entered a period of extreme activity. However, unlike previous phases, this eruption was preceded by major structural changes caused by earthquakes, making the pressure release process much more aggressive. Initial video footage showed ejections of incandescent material being thrown high into the air. Still, as of the latest report, the lava had not yet crossed the natural boundaries of the Valley of the Lions, Valle de Leon. This area serves as the last bastion before hot material flows onto hiking trails and low-lying settlements. Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology confirmed in an official statement that activity in the southeast crater rapidly increased from sporadic eruptions to a full-blown lava fountain. In this phenomenon, magma erupts steadily under extremely high pressure. These incandescent red jets were visible from cities at the foot of the volcano. Seismic stations across Etna's flanks recorded tremors of rarely seen magnitude, an indication that the volcano's internal energy was under intense strain. Experts believe that a local fault beneath Etna underwent a major phase shift due to the preceding 6.7 magnitude earthquake, leaving the magmatic system operating in a highly unstable state. Repeated, high-intensity booms sounded like a natural cannon being fired continuously. The resulting tremors rattled and vibrated windows in homes around Catania. Residents in several villages reported seeing the sky turn red. It was like the end of the world, said a resident of Zafarana Etnea, who saw the burst of light right from his yard. The president of Sicily, Renato Schifani, said that authorities were monitoring Etna with the highest level of vigilance. He called the collapse on the southeastern slope highly unusual and extremely serious, noting that the collapse of the crater structure often signals profound changes in the volcano's internal pressure.
However, preliminary survey results indicate that the hot material remains within safe limits. There is no immediate threat to the population. However, this situation is very dynamic, and Etna is not a predictable volcano, Shifani said, warning residents to remain calm but vigilant. Regional Civil Protection Chief Salvo Cochina issued a stern warning to climbers and tourists to stay away from the summit zone until activity has subsided. The volcano is entering a very unpredictable phase. Even a few steps too close could be dangerous. Italy National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology scientists emphasized that the 6.7 magnitude earthquake that struck hours earlier was the primary trigger. This tremor is thought to have altered the internal structure and magma conduit, sending Etna's volcanic system from a tense state to a critical one overnight. <laughs>